in this race? Oh. New Joseph? Yeah. Yeah, well, yep. Now it's a bit of, uh, felt like I battled number 12 harder than I had did anyone the whole race. So I'm um, talk about it back home, but um, yeah, it was, it was uh, yeah, we, I felt like we just sort of wheeled ourselves backwards and, um, you know, really cost ourselves the advantage of track position that we had. But Joseph was super fast. Couldn't do much about him, but um, certainly felt like we had a pretty good race car today. Maybe not as good as yesterday, but um, yeah, all good. When you came in uh, on that caution, obviously it put you off sequence just a little bit. On my personal side, I was just kind of curious whenever when Joseph and everybody else bitted, just the I guess the decision not to to, to, to not extend that by another maybe three four laps yeah. and change up the maybe the timing yeah. of the tire. We just work. had to do something different, man. I like, I don't know. We were just trying to do something off sequence. You know, we knew that we were basically the same as Joseph if we were together. Yeah. And I had to sort of like just we well we had to sort of go off sequence slightly. Yeah, you know, I mean that 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 caution that we took that no one else took was probably the biggest change. I just we just didn't get we netted two positions less. You know, we were second, ended up fourth, and then obviously the restart we were dead anyway. So um, like I said last week, I think nine times out of ten the guys I'm pretty proud of them actually trying to do something different. Um, didn't quite work, but uh, yeah, I, I had a bit of a handful in my hands towards the end. Every every single race that you do here, you just continually to improve. You continue to learn. You continue to get better. I mean, what are you what are you going to take from, from this weekend? Oh, um, huge amount. I'm so confident around the top now. Um, know when to find it. Know when to go there. Like that, that's what I really struggled with last year on the short ovals was like getting up, getting up high and, and trusting the car and trusting what it's going to do and. Um, but I'm super excited for the next short ovals. Hope there's more coming on the calendar, which I hear there is. Um, and uh, yeah, just learn a lot. But you know, like I said yesterday, I owe a lot to Joseph. He, he helped me a lot. I've still got a long way to go, obviously, to try and beat him. But um, certainly think the promise is there to do it. And uh, I think he knows that too. With the short warm up you had earlier this morning, what were you able to change and make your car to make your car a little bit better than what it was? We yesterday? tried something different there as well. Didn't quite um, work out. And, Track was a little different to what we had yesterday, so it was nice to have a little short warm up. But you're only you're limited by tires as well, so you don't want to get a full full speed. The abandoned procedure there at the end, we saw you almost come in, but I think they said it was only for lap cars only. Yeah, is that something that you like seeing the fact that they were get a green flag finish there at the end? Yeah, or was there? Oh, to be honest, I, I blanked. I saw everyone pitting, and I'm like, I thought I missed a radio call, and I figured that <laughs> we would be pitting because before Scott, before thank you before the before the race, I was like hanging on for dear life before the last stint, so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. I, it was a bit of a blank on my part, but thankfully we didn't get a penalty. So it's a bit I know it's pretty obvious that you wanted to come in to get tires, but what do you make of the call to close pit road and put everyone, keep everyone outside, and you don't get the option of it? Oh, I, I mean, I get it. Like, I'm a big believer that we should be like on street courses, road courses as well. Like if we have a yellow and then a quick yellow, like 15 laps later or something, we like shouldn't open the pits like it just should just like okay let's bunch them back up get rid of this thing and get going again i mean it just completely changes the race i mean today it was all right i mean it is what it is but you know i think like toronto you just saw a complete shift of the race because they left the pits open twice you know i think it, it really you know just handicaps a lot of teams and yeah it is what it is. are you in support of kind of throwing the rule book out a little bit when it comes to procedural stuff like that in an effort to uh, either uh, finish under green or do what you you're gotta saying? you gotta have some sort of Rule book for sure is not a right. Right. Uh, I'm just saying, are you are you on board with having that clause in there? That's like we can change this and tweak this a little bit in an effort to make the racing better. Um, yeah, I, I think we've got to look at it from just everyone. We just got to be, we have to have an open book. You know, mm. you have to listen to feedback. I think IndyCar are very good with that. They listen to what we say after each race. It may not change this race or this year, but it, they will have a big thing about it over the off season and make good changes. And that's all you can ask. This, this series is growing. The more cars that we've got now, you know, it's, it's different to what it's ever been for them. Um, yeah, we're just going to grow together. Patience. Sometimes you'll be on the wrong side of it, but yeah, we'll be right. Joseph said yesterday that, you know, if someone drove him dirty, that he was going to look at trying to fence them today. Did you look if I have any more issues today with lab traffic than what you had yesterday, or was that not really the no, case? No, no, no. Just, um, it was, it was the same. I mean, it wasn't even that, that bad yesterday, but... I got where he come from, but you know, it's harder when you're the leader, you know, because everyone is trying to hold their position down. That's completely fair. So that's just an indie car rule, but Jace is just an intense human being. So he got over it. Third year of this event, it's grown miraculously after the, or I guess second year going to be the third year. Do you think 
that this is on its way to being the next crown jewel in the IndyCar series? Uh, look, it's got a great feel about it. You know, hy have done a fantastic job with building up. You know, Ed Sheeran's play here tonight. Like, that's pretty badass. So, um, you know, I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for what's ahead and, and, and for the sport. I, I certainly hope this stays on the calendar for a very long time.